Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be slowly but surely reviewing some products that are related to the development of this channel. So, hopefully you find this interesting. If you do, I'm going to keep uploading more content like this and I'm really looking forward to having more of you following me so that we can do more content, do greater, better things. Anyway, in today's video we will be talking about the DJI mic system and how currently I am using the microphone system on board the media box for my GoPro Hero 11, Black Edition. This is what I chose to go with here. I went with just the single microphone. Um, I didn't really see the need for two receivers. Uh, this comes with one transmitter, one receiver. The one that comes with uh, the two receivers and the one transmitter also comes with a rechargeable station that it all plugs into, which I thought was pretty cool, but this was $300 Canadian. The other one was $450 Canadian. So I chose to reinvest some of that money in some other areas like some lighting, like some Philips Hughes lighting to put some contrast lighting up here, which you'll see in later videos. The focus of today's video is going to be just a brief unboxing, what's included of this, a breakdown of this. I'm not going to get too technical in this. Maybe we will in edits later. But what I will do is by the end of this video, I'm going to be feeding you audio from this mic device so that you can see in real time what the difference is between this. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty radical. The problem I'm having with my media box is it, it picks up a lot of outside noise. It um, It's kind of directional. I think you can change the input to rear, but like if you're filming and walking around, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired. So we're going to do a level up or an upgrade to this microphone system. So let's get right into it. Oh, I guess it helps if you open the... <laughs> okay, I do not have fingernails, so that makes stuff like this exceptionally fun to try and open. Oh, that wasn't so bad, actually. Okay, so what you get in the box is what looks to be some instructions, user's manual, quick start guide, safety guidelines and you get a little pack here that uh, is actually pretty good you can throw this in your camera bag or something so let's see what's inside okay wow this is actually a lot smaller than what I was thinking so and everything's got its own little cool pockets here it's kind of provision this is the uh, receiver on this side the transmitter on this side the receiver is going to be what mounts on top of the camera. The transmitter is going to be the microphone unit that you'll magnet or put on your lapel over here. And here is the actual microphone itself. So this piece comes with a magnet that's stuck to it right now. So that will work great for like if you don't want the microphone hanging on the outside. You could then put it inside, put a little magnet here, and you won't, really won't be able to tell. So what you would do in... The scenario that you wanted this is just like that and then see you can kind of create a real natural look where you don't really see the microphone I mean I'm, I'm sure I'm not representing this as well as I could be this is very small compact size the only thing I've really heard about negative on these is if you're not careful with this belt clip it can break off relatively easily so word to wise now this also does have onboard memory so if you're not using this in conjunction with a camera you can just record with this. Anyways, you can record a lot of audio on this. What I'm gonna use it for too is building up uh, my, my audio files in my media. So like if you wanted clappy noises, you could, you could set this thing down, record it, and then you can save that file and anytime you want a clappy noise and etc. like guy falling downstairs, whatever, whatever your, whatever your thing, right? So instead of trying to import all that media from places, especially when you go to like the free version of downloads, I find they're pretty crummy. So you could probably just go out in the real world and record a lot of this yourself if you had some spare time uh, and were ambitious. Oh boy, everything comes wrapped. Okay, okay, so this is pretty neat. This is the uh, for the wind, if it gets windy. I've heard this goes on quite easily. I am probably going to try this right now, I don't know. Does not go on incredibly easily. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. I think it just goes in and turns. There you go. So if you're recording uh, outside, this would be a great option. This helps muffle the, the wind noise. And I've seen a lot of people actually recently in their content, like one of the guys that I prefer to watch there is Brandon Herrera. I've noticed he started using these and actually I've noticed a noticeable improvement in his audio when he's uh, out and about. So I don't know what he was using before, but 
when he used the DJI equipment, I noticed a difference for him. So uh, this is the connector so that you can connect this to your camera, right? So this just connects into the back of the receiver and then into your camera. And then that way, when you record your audio, it will automatically record uh, to the media file. So then you don't have to try and sync things up later in, in, in edit, which I think would be pretty freaking handy. This looks like it's your power cord. This is your charger. Okay, so this comes with uh, two USB-C's so that you could actually plug these in at the same time. As far as I know, I think these last for about five hours, give or take, on recording time. And then, okay, so this piece right here, so that you can put this, mount this onto your camera. And then this is pretty handy. So what this also comes with is a couple of different adapters here. Uh, you've got your iPhone adapter and your USB-C adapter and what this does is this slides onto the back of the receiver so if you wanted to use your cell phone and put this good audio on your cell phone's media files when you're recording uh, you could do that and this one works with Android obviously USB-C and probably many others I think even Apple eventually is going to go to this but you also they also give you the one that the Apple uses now so Super handy. My wife runs Apple. I run Samsung. Um, we both hate each other's. <laughs> so if we want to piggyback this one mic system over multiple devices, that makes that possible. What we're going to do is I am going to switch all this stuff on. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you are now hearing me through the new DJI mic system that I've installed onto my camera. Unless I'm a bumbling fool, it should be working correctly. However, I have not gone through the settings. I have not adjusted anything. This is a simple plug and play effect for this video. Hopefully this microphone sounds rich, full and amazing compared to the microphone on my GoPro 11 that I'm using. The issue that I was mainly having with the GoPro 11 is the distance I'm running it away from me in order to do these review videos is a little bit far away. So I think it was getting maybe a little echoey with the room. I'm hoping this is much more rich and full. And if it's not, I'm gonna go through the settings and figure it all out. Pretty easy to use though. I just plugged it back into the back of my um, Hero GoPro 11. I turned the unit on, I turned the microphone on, uh, I could see that the sound bar was moving so I didn't try and bind it or anything, I didn't even read the instructions, so let's see how this goes in this test video. I will be using this microphone in all my videos moving forward. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you want to see more great videos on everything that I'm purchasing in order to do my level up for my studio here. I'm thinking about getting another camera as this GoPro 11 is maybe not the best in-studio camera. Uh, I'm looking at a few different options. I think I'm going to go with the Canon EOS R10. It's an affordable camera that's got some pretty decent features in it. It'll be a great studio camera for me. So let me know what you think. If there's something you could suggest that maybe I could have a look at before it's too late. Anyway, cheers. Remember, be kind to each other and we'll see you in the next one.